California health officials hope the new mandate helps slow down COVID-19 infections during the holiday season. News 8's Shannon Handy joins us live from Claremont Mesa tonight with the details on the mandate and why some say it will be difficult to enforce. Shannon. Yeah, hello, uh, Marcella, excuse me, Marcella, yeah. You have to be wearing those masks in any indoor public setting. So if you go into a store, a mall, the restaurant, a gym, and as you mentioned, this will last for one month at this point. Now, state officials say it's critical right now because of a recent rise in cases as well as hospitalizations. But this mandate will be hard to enforce because some local jurisdictions say they're not willing to do it. It may take some getting used to. I walked into Ralph's without it on first and then I noticed everybody had a mask on. But whether you like it or not, a statewide mask mandate is back starting now through January 15th. In order to ensure that our friends and families can spend the holidays together safely, our state is requiring universal masking for all indoor public settings. That includes places like gyms, malls, stores and restaurants, regardless of a person's vaccination status. Dr. Erica Pond is an epidemiologist with the California Department of Public Health she says this mandate comes as COVID cases have risen 47% statewide since Thanksgiving. Hospitalizations are up as well. Now, hospitals are at a tipping point now with overall capacity with COVID-19 and non-COVID-19 cases. As for whether or not a one-month mandate will make a difference, it's too soon to tell. But Dr. Pond says studies show masking requirements work as to other mitigation strategies. Really, we want people to use all the tools that are dispensed, including other things like ventilation, making sure you're testing, get tested before your gathering, certainly before and after travel, all of those things. Dr. Pond notes some counties like Los Angeles already had a mask mandate in place, so nothing will change. But that's not the case here in San Diego, where some city leaders have publicly said they won't enforce it, including El Cajon Mayor Bill Wells, as well as Coronado Mayor Richard Bailey. Today, Bailey posted this message to Instagram, reading in part, Coronado will not be actively enforcing the state's new mask mandate. If the state wants enforcement, they should use their own resources. And I also reached out to San Diego Police as well as the San Diego Sheriff's Department. I have not heard back about what their thoughts are on this mandate on enforcing it. As for that January 15th deadline, the state has said they are willing to extend it if needed. But for now, it expires on January 15th. Marcella. Shannon, uh, so we know the mask mandate is in place for those indoor public settings. Has the state implemented any other restrictions? Yeah, the state will be cracking down on mega events. So those are events that include more than 1000 people. So right now, if you are unvaccinated and you attend one of those events, you have to show proof of a negative COVID test. So it has to be a negative COVID test within one day if it's a rapid antigen test, but it can be within two days if it's a PCR test. And also this is just a recommendation, but if you plan to leave the state for the holidays, when you come back, the state is asking you to do a self COVID test to make sure that you're not sick and spreading it to others. All right, a lot of measures in place. Uh, holidays are a time when a lot of people gather, so we'll see if this helps slow the spread. Thanks, Shannon.